also we are going to go for day two in the old advent calendar. Day two, the calendar's over there. It's a big old box. Got my Christmas jumper on. I'm feeling festive. Looking forward to this one, guys. Day two. Hopefully it's a good beer. Can we go two for two? We'll soon find out. Join me. We're going to jump over onto the, the old tippy-tappy. We'll record jumping into the box, getting beer out, and I'll be back over here. I'll see you. Easy people, flash. right? Let's see what we've got. Day two. I've got my fuck my pal with me. What we're saying, Slink? What's in the advent calendar? Let's have a look, shall we? Easy people, look at that. The box of beers. Uh, oh my god, I can't even reach into it. There we go. That is it's got a mouse on it. Mickey Mouse, is it? I don't know. Right, join me back at the computer if we'll get this bad boy reviewed. Yes, yes, we're back. So, we've got the beer. I don't know which way up it goes. This way, I think. Number two. Day number two. It's bad by open, shall we? Day number two. We've got a... Ridgeside Objects in Space. And it's a... Hazy dry hot pale ale coming in at 4.8%. Live and unfiltered may contain sediment. Pour carefully. Brewed and canned at the Ridgeside Brewing Company in Leeds. A hazy dry hopped pale ale. Cool. Let's get this bad boy open, shall we? So let's pour carefully. So that is pale. Wow. Concentration. So I've got no idea what any of these beers are. I didn't buy them. My my mum of all people actually bought them for me. Absolute beast. She's uh, been out. She bought twenty five different beers. So. Today, we're on this, this 4.8% hazy dry hops pale. I like the artwork. It's like a rocket ship, objects in space. I like the, it's like a map feel to the can as well. Best before the 15th of the 3rd, 24. So, beer in the glass, again, what you expect. Hazy as you like, very, very hazy, very, very pale. So the two finger just off white head. Decent levels of carbonation from what I can see. Actually, there's quite a lot of carbonation. Let's have a sniff. Yeah, it smells super sort of peachy. Peach, apricot. Mmm. Very citrus. Orange. Lemon. A little bit of grapefruit, maybe. It smells really nice. Cheers, let's get stuck in. The body's really nice. A little bit light, but it's only 4.8%, so there's an incredibly light body on it. Very, very light. A little, little bit of bitterness on there, like sort of on the tongue itself, not on the tip, actually... There's a little bit of bitterness that rounds off into like a and it's just like sweetness. Very nice. Not loads of flavour. A little bit of a little bit of a citrusiness going on there. A bit of peach. But uh, it's not bad. Not as good as yesterday's beer, but not bad by any means at all. It's quite pleasant. I can easily drink a few of them. It's not bad. It's not going to blow you away. It's only four point eight percent, so you know it's not going to. It's not going to break the bank either. Very pleasant. Very easily drinkable. Very soft on the palate. Not a lot of flavour, unfortunately. But it's not a bad beer. Very very quaffable. There's a bit of grapefruit coming through. 
the more I'm drinking it, that citrusiness, that kind of lemon, citrus, a bit of a peach. Other than that, that's it. But they're all quite subtle flavours. They're not big, punchy, bursting flavours. Not bad though. Day two, thumbs up. Probably six out of ten I'd give this. If I'm being kind, six out of ten. It's not amazing, but it'll do the job. There's nothing wrong with it at all. <coughs> Get that man, boy. Feel better now. Yeah, six out of ten. Decent belts from it. So, you know, five, six out of ten. It's all around there. It's not going to blow you away, but it's not bad by any means. Don't know how much it was. Don't know where she got it from, but she's done all right. The girl done good. Two for two. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep it classy. Catch you next time. Peace.